more inspiring projects. Uh, one of them, it's kind of interesting story. I was working on Saturday, I think it was in the morning, uh, on one presentation and the, ring, uh, the, the, the doorbell rings and I go out and there was a really handsome young man carrying a pl flower and he said, this is for you. For me, and it was like an, it wasn't a flower. Actually, it was a, a plant. Thank you. And I was so surprised. And I was uh, this. And then I started to talk to this young guy, and uh, he explained me the project. And I was really fascinated with the idea, with the, the whole organization around it. So uh, I thought uh, the story is really important to be shared also with you, and hopefully it will inspire many of us to act, to follow, to join, and to start similar actions on our own. So please, uh, Katya from Labyrinth, it's your turn. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm sorry, Violeta, that this handsome colleague of mine is not here today. <laughs> anyway, I'm here in the name of uh, the Exodus Company, which is um, a small production company. It began approximately 16 uh, years ago with a very small, tiny festival uh, of performing arts. So you must be probably wondering, what am I doing here with performing arts? But it's very interesting. Three years ago, the director of this company, Exodus, met uh, an interesting artist from Bulgaria, uh, Vinilin Shurelo, who presented some in Oslo, I think, the idea of a labyrinth. And she loved the idea, but she couldn't really place it anywhere in our country. So this year, our, our town, Ljubljana, is the world capital of the book, so world book capital. And um, the, to connect the, the idea of a labyrinth in Ljubljana and the idea of a book and reading and art became suddenly an artistic project that we call simply the labyrinth of art. Um, let me just, uh, like this, yeah. So this is our labyrinth. We will actually build and plan the labyrinth with approximately 300 trees. And um, the project is financed partially uh, from the municipality of Ljubljana and the Ministry of Culture and some EU funding. But the main idea of the labyrinth is not just to have it as, uh, you know, Ludwig had it and uh, the Austrian uh, princes and Caesar had it, but this is a labyrinth of art, which means we're going to uh, place the idea to people to start walking and to start thinking and to escape from the chaotic cities like Ljubljana is already becoming. The labyrinth is going to be placed in a culturally completely poor and empty part of our town, Fuji. Fujine, so next to Grad Fujine, the castle of Fujine, uh, we're going to build this labyrinth. Uh, the path of the labyrinth is going to be full of thoughts. So I'm also asking you, please w visit our website and um, give us your thoughts. We will definitely engrave them into our stones. The labyrinth, the path is going to be approximately 1.3 kilometers long. Please don't do any shortcuts, okay? And uh, in the center of the labyrinth, we will have a small um, reading spot. So um, it's going to be a little spot where you will be able to sit down, bring your book, or maybe just read the book from there and, and relax a little bit. It is believed that in 40 years, the labyrinth would um, um, consume approximately 40 tons of uh, carbon dioxide. So the idea is to have an artistic project with a very big ecological statement. Um, we would like to give something back to the cities, something that's been taken away from them. And um, this is Venelin Shorello down there, just so you know. Uh, so this is how the project was done. This is, these are his sketches. It's very simple to do a labyrinth. As you can see the picture up there, this is not how our labyrinth will look. It will be made with trees. Um, so it will not be made with bushes. We will not try to get you lost in there, but we will try to make you um, find yourself. Um, the possibility of collaboration in this project is uh, quite big. We're actually asking big Slovenian companies to become the guardians of your own tree. Also, Violeta will become a guardian of her own tree. She will have a, her name under the tree, and so everyone who will walk by will be able to see um, to who this tree belongs. Well, this is new, but it's okay. We'll talk about it. <laughs> 
And, um, okay, if you don't want it, you don't have to. But uh, it's interesting, uh, we're trying to contact really some important Slovenian co companies who definitely should return something to the nature and... Uh, some of them are really ignoring us. So if you know somebody, please talk to them. Uh, and uh, I can also see that we have a manager association here and uh, a marketing association. Well, they already left. Maybe we could do some collaboration. I, we're open to all sorts of ideas. Don't forget, we our, our company is doing performing arts. So any new ideas to make this project even more... Um, uh, how to say presentable would be fan 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 fantastic um, especially I think the printed press should think and consider how much wood is being consumed thank, thank you, you very, very much, much. <laughs> <laughs> okay the invita invitation was clear and with no obstacles so let's think about it and if you of course feel with the projects please join